Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, wherever you are, whatever you're doing. How are y'all doing? It's Kaiser. And boy, 2023 has been a hell of a year so far. And it's, um, well, it's weird that really the bright, there's like the few bright stars in the sky that we have had in 2023 have come from the most unlikely of places. And I mean, this year has been full of box office bombs. Flash, you know, Indiana Jones 5. I mean, yeah, Elemental and so many more. And even several that uh, basically are not going to get released till next year because of delays now. But uh, I'll tell you one movie. One movie that has been absolutely kicking ass and just absolutely destroying every expectation is sound of freedom so this movie has absolutely humiliated the domestic box office here in the united states it has it is a powerhouse it has continued to make money it is the little movie that could and only just recently it started getting releases overseas after a long domestic box office run Apparently, it's still being shown out here in theaters, but there's not as many that are carrying it. But it's still making money, and now it's making waves internationally. It's huge. I mean, we all remember the controversy of all the usual suspects, you know, the, in the media coming out. The access media, the left-wing media always coming out for this movie. For some strange reason, they wanted to just go ahead and you know, trash this movie as Q adjacent and a whole bunch of other bad things. And then, of course, we saw that uh, the people that were oftentimes making said accusations against the movie were, in fact, people who were, um, let's see, let, let's, let's use the politically correct term. They were um, cheese pizza enthusiasts. Yeah. There was a famous uh, reviewer who got absolutely destroyed online for a lot of things that came up in uh, his past. And But anyway, what's been going on with this movie recently? So Angel Studios reports that Sound of Freedom dominates in Latin America in its opening weekend, taking the number one spot in Latin American countries. Wow. So this movie absolutely just dominated in Latin America over this past weekend. Angel Studios reports Sound of Freedom is continuing success internationally and has had at that it had domestically in its opening weekend. The box office Sound of Freedom took in the top spot in 18 countries across Latin America. In a press release, Angel Studios reported that yeah, okay, I've already said that like three times already. Sorry, so but uh, taking the number one spot in 18 countries, saying that in Latin America has already reached its goal of selling two million tickets in Latin America. Uh, to represent the 2 million children trafficked each year. That is huge for this movie. And, you know, it's it's actually served as a really cool reminder to, out there to just the power of word of mouth. This movie would not have succeeded without word of mouth, and it is so cool to watch at just how much this movie has dominated. And yes, the uh, Sound of Freedom director Alejandro Monteverde praises moviegoers for defending film against mass media attacks. He is out there saying that hey, it would not be it would it is it would not be as good of a success as it is if not for the people out there going to see this movie. And I mean, just looking at this, just the straight up numbers right now, it's incredible to watch. This movie has already grossed over $190 million worldwide in its run at the box office. That is huge, especially, again, for a movie that only had a $14 million budget. That is utterly insane. I gotta, I cannot find the... Uh, seems like they've taken that information off of here that it about the uh, budget for this movie. But yeah, this may movie was made on a budget of $14.5 million. It has now made $190.3 million in its, in its, between its domestic and international box office runs. And actually, it's now, because of this, it's going to be springboarding another film from director Alejandro Monteverde. 
After massive success with House of Freedom, director Alejandro Monteverde to bring Cabrini to theaters with Angel Studios. So following the massive success from this move of Sound of Freedom, Angel Studios and director Alejandro Monteverde are teaming up to bring Cabrini to theaters in March of 2024. Angel Studios Chief Operating Officer uh, Liz Ellis commented on the film saying, Francesca Cabrini is one of the most inspiring and influential figures of modern history, and yet few know her, of her story. Faced with seeming insurmountable life obstacles, Cabrini chose instead to focus on how she could change the status quo in her time and her impact on the world that is still felt today. Ellis added, we're thrilled to be able to share her unbelievable story in theaters this spring. This will be our second collaboration with Sound of Freedom director Alejandro Monteverde and the Angel Guild even gave, or it gave this film even higher ratings than Sound of Freedom. Our community has high expectations for this project. The official synopsis for the film restates, directed by Alejandro Monteverde, Sound of Freedom Cabrini shares the story of Francesca Cabrini, a poor, audacious Italian immigrant who became one of the great entrepreneurs of the 19th century. It concludes, through her willpower, courage, compassion, and business skills, she overcame sexism and violent anti-Italian bigotry while fighting back against the establishment seeking to take a hold, or seeking to hold her back. Sounds like one hell of a movie there. Uh, definitely one for the Oscar categories, but hey, I mean, it. this movie is definitely looking to go ahead and, you know, put... And I mean, this this movie is another one that I mean, Angel Studios is looking to put this out there. Honestly, after the success of Sound of Freedom, I'm interested to see what they got. If it's as good as uh, what they're saying, hey, I think we could see another really good banger of a movie. And hey, any time that a small independent studio can go out there and absolutely just stick it. To Disney and the and Warner Brothers and all the other big uh, corporate machines out there, I say that that's a win. So, everybody, thank you all so much for watching. Please definitely go down there, hit that like button. If you're new here, hit that subscribe button. I've got videos coming out Monday through Friday and live streams Wednesday and Thursday at 9 p.m. Eastern. And otherwise, I will see you all in the next video. Peace.